This tutorial is going to show how to set up an overlay scoreboard if you're playing Street Fighter VI locally on a PC and you want a quick way to display player names and the current score. It's a hack that I put together using a sticky note app that's just floating on top of the screen, but it works great for this purpose. And you won't see any input delay, like this isn't rebroadcasting your screen or anything like that. Let's get into how to set it up. To get started, we're going to need to download three things. I've linked everything in the description below. First is the Stickies app. Second is this skin. This is the best one that I could find for the overlays. And the third are the overlays that I created themselves. This has all the right font and spacing. So I'm going to click download here. Now that we have all that, head over to your downloads folder and install Stickies. Just double click. If you get a little Windows prompt, just click more info and say run anyway. Click install, and you're done. So click finish. Next part here is to load the skin. How you do that is right click on the skin right here, choose copy, navigate to C drive, program files x86, stickies, skins, paste in here, click continue. And then the last part will be configuring our sticky notes. So you can find stickies in the bottom right. If you don't see it right here, you can always check in your tray. Um, we're going to right click and choose settings, go to app, and then choose restore. So you're going to restore from the overlay that I've created here. Click on it and choose open. Click yes. And at this point, your overlay should be fully operational. To use them, right click on stickies and choose manage notes. So right over here under stored, you'll see the overlays. Uh, what I do is hold down the shift key on my keyboard. And while doing that, highlight all of the notes here. And then right click and choose copy to desktop. Once you have the overlays up and running, you can run any full screen application. And as you see, we've got the overlays right up here. You can just move your mouse to an overlay, click in here, and change what the overlay says. Now, if you want to adjust the score, go ahead and click right here. You can change it. When you're done editing the score, make sure to click the mouse cursor back onto the game. Otherwise, the players won't be able to control their character. Let's say you accidentally moved one or uh, closed one out, and you can close them right over here. What you can do is head back to the taskbar there and go to Manage Notes. Here's all of our original uh, notes right over here under Overlays. That original one, I can just right click and choose copy to desktop, and there it is. I can also edit the contents of these through this Manage Notes program. Click on desktop and then modify these on the fly. So if I click here, edit the text, and then click on another note, you'll see it's updating here. This can be great if you have a second monitor and just want to update the names and score without you know throwing a mouse on top of the overlay it can be great for that now if you're using steam on your computer there's one more step there's a feature called steam input this feature is turned on by default but it lets players use their controller as a keyboard and mouse and this will wreak havoc on the sticky notes in order to get around this uh, we're going to disable that steam input open up your taskbar right here right click on steam and choose big picture go to menu settings Go down to controller, and you'll see something called desktop layout. Go ahead and click edit, and then click on this little gear right here, and choose disable steam input. So once this is done, the overlays will be solid. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment, and thanks for watching.